Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I am thrilled to dive into something truly exciting with you all. If you have been following my previous videos, you will know I am a big fan of Kimi K2. I made a video about it and since then I have been using it non-stop. It's an incredibly powerful open weights model and it has consistently impressed me with its performance. But recently I discovered a way to take Kimi K2 to an entirely new level especially for those of us who spend a lot of time coding. You see Kimi K2 is special because it's currently the largest open weights model out there. It's what we call a non-thinking model which means it's excellent at factual tasks and doesn't make things up unlike some of the more creative AI models. What's truly remarkable is that Kimi K2 actually outperforms many other well-known models in various tests, even some of the paid ones. When I first introduced Kimi K2, it was mainly available through its own standard API. The pricing was already fantastic, costing only about 60 cents to 2 dollars and 50 cents for every million pieces of information it processed. That's a really good deal for such high performance. Now here is the big news that changes everything. Kimi K2 is now also available on open router. This is a huge step because it makes accessing Kimi K2 much easier through open router and other similar platforms. And it's not just open router, tools like Nova and Parasail also support it. The best part, the price drops even further on open router costing around 57 cents to 2 dollars and 30 cents per million pieces of information while it does not offer catching yet which helps save money on repeated requests the value for this kind of performance is still incredible and definitely worth checking out it gets even better because kimi k2 is now also available in kilo if you jump into Kilo, you can simply pick the latest Kimi K2 model and start using it right away. And to sweeten the deal, if you sign up, you often get $20 in free credit to experiment with. That's a lot of free usage and since Kilo doesn't add extra fees like open router sometimes does, you end up saving even more money. I have been putting it through its paces and honestly it's ridiculously good especially for coding tasks. I would even go as far as to say that Kimi K2 is probably the open source coding model available right now. It handles code beautifully, understands complex programming tasks and provides accurate solutions. For a long time, I was mostly using other code assistants for my projects because they allowed me to start a task, walk away and let them handle everything in the background. They were my go-to tools for a week but now with Kimi K2 I have found a way to achieve even better results especially when paired with other powerful tools. In this video I am going to focus specifically on how to get Kimi K2 working with open code. You heard that right we are going to connect Kimi K2 directly into open code. While I have experimented with other setups in the past. I want to show you the complete details of integrating Kimi K2 with open code using open router. We will go through the process step by step ensuring you can set this up easily and start experiencing the power of Kimi K2 in your coding workflow. Alright, let's get everything set up so you can use Kimi K2 with open code through open router. First you need to make sure you have open code installed. If you don't have it, you can install it using your computer's command line. If you already have it, just make sure it's updated to the latest version. Once open code is ready, open it up and type the command open code login. This command will start the login process for open code. When it asks choose the open router option, then it will prompt you to enter your API key for open router. Make sure you have your open router API key ready and paste it in. This setup connects your open code setup to your open router account. Now here is where things get a bit interesting. At the moment, the version of Kimi K2 available through open router doesn't work perfectly with open code for some technical reasons. The people who develop these tools are aware of this issue and are working on fixing it. They have even created a discussion about it on GitHub. So hopefully it will be resolved very soon. But don't worry, even with this small hiccup, you can still use Kimi K2 with open code. The workaround is actually quite simple. Instead of relying on the open router setup directly within open code, you can use the official Kimi K2 API directly. 
this means you will need to open up your open code configuration file this file usually has setting that tell open code how to connect to different ai models in this file you will manually add kimi k2 as a new provider you will need to enter the specific details and your api key for the official kimi k2 service once you save these changes you will be all set to start coding with one of the best open source models available today using the full power of kimi k2 while open code works perfectly with many other models and while we are waiting for full open router compatibility with kimi k2 the direct api setup ensures you can still use it without any issues it's important to understand that sometimes new models or platforms have small technical challenges when they first integrate but these are usually resolved quickly by the developers the main point is that you can still use kimi k2 effectively with open code today even if it requires a small manual steps now let me walk you through a practical example i ask it to build an e-commerce dashboard as soon as i press enter kimi k2 working through open code starts its magic what i notice immediately is how efficiently and quickly it processes the request it's almost like it's thinking through the problem even though it's a non-thinking model it intelligently breaks down the task and then starts writing the code it might suggest adding new css styles javascript to handle the functionality this whole process happens smoothly and responsibly it's genuinely impressive how a lightweight tool like this can handle such complex coding challenges with minimal effort from my side what's even more exciting about this setup is that you can get performance that is almost as good as some of very high and expensive models but at a tiny fraction of the cost it's like having access to a premium tool without the premium price tag kimi k2 when used in this way can even automatically create a smart to-do list for itself breaking down the larger task into smaller manageable steps it uses its internal tools very efficiently all without needing me to constantly tell it what to do i have tried many different coding ai assistants and this combination of kimi k2 with open code truly feels a bit smoother and more intuitive the way it understands my instructions and build out the code is simple next level for an open source code model if you want to make things even faster and more cost effective you can always connect to the official kimi k2 api directly this usually speeds up the responses noticeably and often introduces something called prompt catching prompt catching means that if you ask the same or a very similar question again the ai remembers the answer and can give it to you almost instantly which further reduces your cost because it doesn't have to reprocess everything from scratch as for the full open router compatibility with open code for kimi k2 i will definitely keep an eye on it and test it again once the developers fix the current issues i have been experimenting with it but for now the direct api setup is the way to go what really surprised me was how naturally kimi k2 integrated with open code using the official api it worked almost as if they were designed to do be used together Honestly this entire situation reminds me of how I felt when other background open gates model first appeared the shock of realizing that an open source model could actually changes the performance of incredibly advanced closed source models is truly wild and remember this kimi k2 model is not even the most advanced variant they are still working on a thinking variant that promises even more cap- capabilities anyway that's for all now i truly believe this is a setup worth your time especially if you are into building applications with ai or just want to make your coding sessions more productive let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you found this video helpful please hit the subscribe button